I will be demonstrating the arthroscopic repair of the TFCC at the capsule. TFCC is composed of the dorsal and the volar limbs along with the meniscal homologue and it has a superficial and the deep limb as well near the fo foveal insertion. Foveal insertion is one of the attachment which gets injured and the other one is the dorsal capsule which are these are the two types which gets commonly injured. I will be demonstrating the capsular repair at the dorsum which is repaired using the needle and the PDS by two simple sutures as shown here. There are various suturing techniques. These are the simplest ones. An MRI here showing an intact foveal insertion with the injured dorsal capsule attachment of the TFCC which is much better seen in a sagittal view like this. Arthroscopy is performed using a wrist traction device. These are the various devices which are available. A custom made one using Chinese finger traps or another wrist traction device here which can be attached to a shoulder traction unit and done with 3 to 4 kilos of weight. These are the various commonly used portals which are referenced to the extensor compartment. The 3, 4, 4, 5 and the 6R portal are the radiocarpal portals. MCR and MCU are the midcarpal portals. A blunt hemostat is used and entered the radiocarpal joint just distal to the listus tubercle. A 2.4 scope is commonly used for wrist arthroscopy. Access is gained into the radiocarpal joint and this is the view inside the joint. The radius capitate and the radio lunotriquetral ligaments are the two stuff ligaments along the radial side and the other ligament is a radio scapholunate ligament. You follow a set sequence of inspection. This is towards the radial side. This is the RSC and the RLT ligament on the radial side. And as we go further radially, you could see the radial styloid as well as the scaphoid. Now we sh show our attention towards Alna side. That's the lunate which is seen. And further as we go across, that's the triquitrum with the capsular -like reflections and as well as a synovial hypertrophy on towards the ulnar side. The synovial hypertrophy on the ulnar side shows or demonstrates us about the unrest in the joint. Our next step would be to access towards the ulnar side of the radiocarpal joint by making the 6R portal. So you make a 6R portal and an incision just proximal to that which helps us to deliver the needles if at all a TFCC repair has to be performed. That's the tear of the capsule, the dorsal side and the TFCC here. That's a needle which is accessing to the 6R portal. A blunt hemostat is then used after making the incision on the skin. The synovial hypertrophy is debrided using a 2 mm or the 2.4 mm shaver. Now the TFCC is checked for the trampoline effect. Normally this is good and at start, if the effect is lost, that means if there is a TFCC tear. As I told, there are two tears. The one is the peripheral capsular tear, which we can see here, but we need also to rule out the foveal insertion tear, which is demonstrated by a hook test by going underneath the TFCC and trying to lift off. There is no lift off here, that means the foveal insertion is intact. So now we proceed to our repair as shown here. So we pass a needle just proximal to the 6U portal, 6R portal. And a PDS3 O is passed or an ethibond can be used. 
once this is passed into the radiocarpal joint, the PDS is crashed through the 6R portal using a grasper and delivered outside. Similarly, another suture is passed. Depending on the width of the tear, there are various modifications of this suturing technique. One of them is the Mason Allen. These are the simple sutures which I used here. So this is the second stitch. So this is brought out again to the 6R portal. Then this is delivered subcutaneously to the portal where the needle was inserted. And the capsule is approximated to the TFCC as you tighten the PDS. And further the trampoline effect is checked and there's a good taut TFCC at the capsule here after the repair, at the end of the repair. Following this, the wrist is immobilized for four weeks in full supination. And mobilization is started after a month. Thank you.